Welcome back to Nintendo Prime. If you enjoy this content, enjoy our videos, I hope you decide to subscribe. After all, we're trying to get to 80,000 subscribers. Really epic giveaway when we get there. Doesn't matter because today isn't about me. It's not about you, really, even either. Today is about somebody else. <sighs> Let's just get into the original tweets uh, because this is about a child who doesn't have much time left on this planet. Uh, and fulfilling basically the final wish they have before they pass away. And yes, it involves Nintendo. So I'm getting all this off of the Twitter account, Erica C. Keys. She is a MD, so she's a doctor. And here's what she put out on June 8th. So about 10 days ago, 12 days ago or so. Twitter, please help. My patient is a little boy whose life dream is to play the new Pokemon Scarlet Violet game. He has incurable cancer and likely won't live to see the game released in November. Does anyone have connections with Nintendo, Pokemon, etc.? He wants to play it so desperately. Maybe he could play the beta version or receive a message from game creators. His parents ask everyone to please retweet to connect us with someone who can help him achieve this dream. That's obviously uh, very touching. We, we, we have seen Nintendo and other game companies sometimes fulfill these sort of make-a-wish style requests out there because, you know, when it comes to somebody, you know, a child especially, losing their, their life so young to cancer, um, it, it, it's never a, a, a great thing. Um, it, it, it's always, it, it's difficult to talk about. You know, I, I'm a father of three children. It's hard for me to imagine, even my dog here, hard for me to imagine losing any of them at such a young age to cancer. Uh, it's tough. So I, obviously I really hope the right thing happens here. And, and there was an update to the story and, uh, the update to the story is, is seemingly, uh, positive. And, uh, cause Erica C. Key, uh, about 24 hours to 48 hours later, put another tweet responding saying, I'm so grateful for Twitter for helping us connect, uh, us with Pokemon and Nintendo. The right folks are now working on it. Uh, thank you will never be enough. Special gratitude goes out to Seamus Blackley, the vowel, uh, Jeremy Com and all who are pitching in to make a dream come true. Uh, and that's really, really the, the only update there is, is simply that, hey, it sounds like uh, this child is going to obviously get the opportunity to play uh, Pokemon Scarlet Violet in some form, incomplete or otherwise, uh, before all the rest of us. And that is just a wonderful thing because, you know, it's highly likely they won't be around when they, when the final game releases. Maybe they get some some merchandise, maybe they get to meet some of the creators of the game, uh, you know, maybe they can meet Doug Bowser from Nintendo, I have no idea, uh, but this is obviously something that, it's it's a sad story, but also a positive one, in that the Pokemon Company and Nintendo seem like they're probably going to end up fulfilling uh, this child's dying wish, and, and get an opportunity to play a game that just isn't going to be out in time, uh, for the time they have left on this planet. Uh, and I, I want to kind of spin this into a larger conversation. One about appreciating our own lives. Um, I, I know a lot of us struggle, right? We struggle with depression. We struggle with uh, our inner demons. We struggle with bad parenting, maybe growing up. We struggle with uh, relationship drama and, and friend drama and family drama and our own trauma and our own, you know, our own issues that, that you know, some of it we're born with, some of it just happened to us over time. Uh, maybe, our, maybe you have cancer. I don't know. But all of us uh, deal with some form of, of inner demons or outer demons, as it were, and struggle. Uh, I can't tell you the number of times I've seen on my live streams and my comment sections uh, in private DMs, uh, people telling me uh, how much they hate their life or, or how upset they are and people that, that, that want to that, that just take that step and, and you know end something so precious as life. There's only one guaranteed. Maybe there's something after we die. Maybe there's not. But that doesn't matter. What we do know for sure is we do have this life we have right now. And it is so precious. And, and, and it's important that we do our best to preserve that life. Uh, it's, it's important that we do our best to appreciate that life. And to enjoy all the wonderful things this world does have to offer. Because there's so much focus on the negative. Whether it's politically or religious or uh, you know environmentally or, or whatever. But we forget there's also so much beauty in this world, so much kindness in this world, so much good in this world that we often forget about that to focus on all of the negative. Uh, and so today I want you all to, 
you know, take a step outside, just take a deep breath, look around you, and appreciate that you are still with us, that you are alive, that you are going to be here, likely when Breath of the Wild 2 drops, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet drop, that you're going to get to experience those games, that you can go down a water slide and, and enjoy the experience of just swimming. Being able to take a, a nice cold or hot shower or whatever you enjoy. Being able to do jumping jacks and listen to music and dance and smile and laugh. Like, take a moment to appreciate life itself. Even if you, your life sucks and, oh, hey, I've heard so many say, man, you know, appreciate another Nintendo Prime live stream later where apparently I'm making people smile. All I care is that we take a moment to appreciate what we have because there are so many people out there that don't even get the option. Don't even get the option. From children to adults. People who just leave this planet too soon due to circumstances they have no control over, such as cancer, but many other things. They don't get the choice to sit back, breathe in, and enjoy life. They don't get that opportunity because the life is being taken from them. Your life, I'm guessing at this moment, for most of you watching, hasn't been taken from you because you're still here watching. And as such, I want to spin this into just appreciating that life because I don't think we spend enough time doing that. Now, to end this video, I want to note that um, all proceeds from this video will go to uh, all proceeds, you know, basically any, any ad revenue made in this video uh, will be donated directly to charity. I, I'm not sure which charity yet at this point. I'll let you guys maybe down in the comments suggest a bunch of charities uh, that you think the ad revenue from this video. In fact, uh, I will match the ad revenue from this video with my own money uh, and, and double that donation to, to a charity of choice. So uh, you guys let me know what charity down in the comments works. Uh, maybe the top voted one is, is the one we'll go for, whether it's a children's hospital. Um, or what have you, uh, appreciate your life. That, 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 that's really the message I want out of this is appreciate what you got because so many of us just don't get that option. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love you all, and I'll catch you in the next video.